Oh my god, oh stop my it. God. Stop it. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Wow, wow, wow. No! Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Wagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And guess what, guys? It is the official start of Scream Queens Season 2 Reactions. Yes! We have read all your comments. You guys came at us. You were like, I need Scream Queens right now now and guess what we are here to deliver mm -hmm. but we do want to thank you for being so patient while we took a little break while we focused on some other movie reactions that we wanted to get out but you know what we couldn't stay away from screen queens too long nope now we have seen your comments and we have heard from y'all that this is ryan murphy in his peak just being different for season two. Well, there's definitely no season three or four or mm -hmm. anything else. So it seems like season two was the end of it. Uh, but we are gonna decide that ourselves. We yeah. need to watch it. We're gonna give it a chance. But we have heard that it's either good or bad or so bad it's good or straight up trash. <laughs> so we're gonna go on this journey together. We're gonna give it a chance. Yeah, we're going in with open minds. And honestly, I'm just really excited to see where the story picks up and open holes i'm just setting the tone i'm just <laughs> but before we get into it y'all know what to do make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon and don't forget to join our discord where you can talk to us about scream queens and anything else that's on your mind the link is going to be in the description below but without further ado let's get into it oh okay i don't know who this is Something's wrong with my husband um i'm sorry but it's halloween we all kind of like letting loose on halloween i think he's oh. dying same energy i'm giving same energy have you seen dr mike someone is oh. having an emergency they just can't wait to the book is happening right now <laughs> Hello, ladies. My <gasps> husband needs a dog. What? But it's Halloween. Oh my God, stop. Boner on. <laughs> if I have to save a life tonight, so be it. It is what I do. Why do I feel like Jerry O'Connell just plays like drugged up characters now? <laughs> I definitely think he did in Piranha. Give him the procedure now, or I swear I'll make sure all of you lose your medical licenses. I will shut this hospital down. Honestly, kudos. That would be me if that was people were playing around with your body. You're my life. You're my everything. Oh. How's our son doing? Good. Good. There's always somebody pregnant. Always somebody pregnant. Okay, Bill. Sleepy time. Yes, finger it, Daddy. I gotta. I gotta chill. Until they reopened it, and now we are the fourth best performing hospital out of four in the area, which is great for us because it keeps expectations. Oh, super there's like toxic waste, like right next to their hospital. The kids used to always talk about a, a monster that lived back here. The green meanie. The green meanie. I can't. It's covered the frog, like just like. He'll be dead within the hour, and then we'll get the blame. So we will dump his body out here. Oh, they're like murdering people, like yeah. straight up murder. Yes. This isn't a mystery. We because know who did it. <laughs> they want to party. I mean, it is Halloween. I mean, at this point, I think you should just take everything off. That was good aim. Shall we? Oh my God. Is this Laura Bell Bundy, the girl who plays, uh, L on Broadway. I need to know. I need to figure this out. Oh! I, right. I thought we were gonna have a theme song. What the f 
fuck? Okay. John Stamos and Taylor Lautner. I hope I got that right. Catherine Hobart. Hi, I'm Dr. Brock Holt. I went to Harvard. And I'm Dr. Cass. They truly were like, this is just for the gays. Like, yeah. this, this is just for That's the gays. Fine. We need Give to it like. To us. Of hypertrichosis, aka werewolf syndrome. I was once arrested by a dog catcher. Hey, here's one thing that is, is that Cecily Strong? It sounded like Cecily Strong. Heels. I know it's expensive, but so, so worth it. It does sound like Cecily right? Strong. Right? Before Dr. Munch found me in that creepy disease chat room and told me if I came here, she could cure me. I keep oh. my word. Hi. Dr. Munch. Dr. Munch. I love it. We have Jamie Lee Curtis back and she's a doctor. Last year they gave me the actual honorary doctorate they stripped from Bill Cosby. Oh. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Me too? By now you're probably asking yourself, wait a second, isn't this the Kathy Munch, the iconic? We are. We are. You called us out. What's next? Honestly, I found- <gasps> Nixie Nash! Oh! Reforming America's healthcare system. Ask any medical student, what do they want to become? Cecily Strong! Yes! Yes! They want to make money, and that requires Laura Bell Bu customers. The perverse. Guys, on this. give me the fucking prize, whatever it is. Much. What about the Chanel's? Do you have any comment on what became of them? The Chanel's. For yes, let us in, girl. Turn them into a national obsession. In <laughs> Traffic Kappa Kappa, oh my God. Along with my dear friend, Shondell, who was later stabbed in the face and pushed out a car. Can I ask what you- By who? We don't know. We don't know. It just happened. And I got it right here on video tape. <gasps> yes, I orchestrated- Oh shit! Damn, they got her. Finally, someone gets Leia Michelle. Double Jeopardy. Uh, no, again, you haven't been tried yet at all. It's Double Jeopardy! It's Single Jeopardy! <laughs> <laughs> Distant memory, except for one. One that I felt deserved an opportunity to make something of. Zayday! Okay, I mean, so far I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Everything's the same. So now I'm in my first year of med school. Working three jobs to pay for it all. I want to pay for it. Excuse me? You heard me. Oh, trick of mama. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm in. Yes, you are. Congratulations. Sede, you're trusting her way too fast. But I mean, she wasn't the killer last season, so she well, was a killer. She was a killer, but she, she killed was someone. Not the killer. <laughs> Wheeling rando patients not knowing their medical condition and just start cutting. Discovering as I if go. we don't get these men shirtless, Sometimes it'll be I a just... shame. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out in the universe. He had what looked like scarring around oh. his wrist. Oh, shit. See, this is what I get when I'm being horny. Almost like it was chopped off and sewed back on. Or that he just likes being tied up, which, you know. I'm the recipient of the world's first complete hand transplant. Are you ah. serious? That's not your real hand? <gasps> oh, this is my real hand. If you buy a used... Daddy stopped us dead in his tracks. We <laughs> were like... Super Bowl accident. You played in the Super Bowl? Sorry. Super Bowl party accident. Okay. We need more. <laughs> Next, my idiot friend Maddie starts flipping light switches to see if they're working. Next, I started. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, did I tell you I went to Harvard? Well, I did. Harvard okay. University. All right. All right. Anyway, all right. my ring fell down the drain. I, I stuck my yeah. hand down to retreat. No, you never do it. You never, you always make sure. Power came back on. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Pro tip, you can unplug those things first so that this doesn't happen. Uncle Jesse, I'm sorry. You see, once in every generation, a surgical prodigy arrives. A slayer is chosen. A prodigy is <laughs> I gotta say. I kind of really hope that it turns out that the hand is like from a serial killer or something. Oh. And the hand is killing, but he's not. Oh, we're getting kind of like supernatural. I would still see the patients. And don't get me wrong, I'm a genius at solving medical problems, you know, connecting the dots. But I'm a surgeon. <laughs> Fucking Christ. You're freezing. Yeah, I, uh, I run cold. Oh, no, my grandmother runs cold. She has to wear a little knit cap. Is he dead? 
I envy ice. At least if you give it warmth, it melts. Ooh, that's deep. That's like a I'm Taylor Swift lyric. I'm sorry. Did I just hear somebody a page of Dr. Smegma over the intercom? I don't know what a smegma is. You don't want to know what a smegma is, honey. Mm -mm. Jackson, and I'm your friendly neighborhood candy striper. This right here is what I call my magic card. Take two of these and call me in the morning. Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not the razors. Okay. I promise you by next week we will have a cure. <laughs> sure, sure, that sounds great. I don't know, I feel like in the week she's gonna be dead. Feminism is just so boring. What I'm saying <laughs> is we could use some more ladies around here. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? I have an idea. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I feel it in my veins. Though I wanna know what happened to Grace. Oh! Good morning, idiot hookers. Yes! <sighs> They're not as glamorous, but we still love them. We still love them. We were pariahs. We were innocent of the crime, but guilty of being awful. Our grade A blue ribbon real- <laughs> oh, oh! You girls are the worst! We had a serious- I mean, true, but they look good. They still look good. But we kept our noses to the grindstone and went back to finish college. Chanel. Number five? <laughs> Wait, this is like a year later. They finished college in a year? Free services to the poor. Can everybody just shut up? Do you not see that I'm on the phone? <laughs> but I'm convinced. Me every day at work. Like, just shut ah! up. Number three got a job mopping up at the local men's fertility clinics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you, you won't feel a thing. It turns out I love blood. Love it. Oh, cool. Bottomist that I passed with flying colors. Oh, okay. <gasps> she found that vein mad quick. Mm -hmm. Who would have guessed it would come to this? Two years ago, I had just been elected Kappa House president and I was dating the hottest guy on- Oh, two years later. And the next thing you know, we spend every night eating fruit pie, sitting on a stoop because no one will give us their HBO Go password. Oh, HBO, HBO Go. Go. Oh, this is where it gets dated. I want you to enroll as medical students and come work at my hospital. Yes, we'd love to. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Still have a lot to learn. And I want to help you learn it. I'm loving this allyship. I mean, hospitals are scary. So I will say it's a scary setting. Imagine they just kill Zeta off like immediately. I'd be so oh. mad. Oh. Yes! Ah! Yes! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dean Munch arranged the whole thing. Didn't she do the same thing for you? No, I got into medical <laughs> school all by myself, which took a year and a half and was really hard. <laughs> Kiki Palmer Aww. literally is everything. I speak for all three of us when I say that becoming a doctor was never the dream. Come on, we're gonna be late. All right, I love it, I love it. Uh, that moment right there just made me miss this show so much. Yeah. Like, I, it's not even been that long. <laughs> Scrubs. Which is mine. It's purple. My favorite color. No, nah, -uh. I am not wearing disposable clothing. I mean, you cannot tell me. She was literally in Scrubs like yeah, five minutes you ago. You literally were. <gasps> oh my God. Pan down a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I literally just got the tinglies. <laughs> I just got the tinglies. Oh my God. Oh Stop my it. God. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, baby girl! Give us a pan. Give me a view. Same. <gasps> An H tattoo. Yo, John John Stamos. John Stamos? Mm -hmm. John Stamos is so fucking hot. Mm -hmm. it's Has just so, been always. He, oh, right, always. Ghosting. Point of order. I don't think that's what ghosting is. Ghosting is when you leave a party without saying goodbye. That's friend Jackson. Okay, you guys are all idiots. No, I thought that was Irish accent. Really into you, and then all of a sudden one day he just stops texting back because he finally saw what you look like. And so he just texts you and you're like, hey, sexy, where'd you go? And then he just doesn't answer because he, he ghosted. Wait. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, sexy, where'd you go? 
vision a hairy shower drain, and sometimes it works and I can barf. Wait, I'm picturing it right now. Stop it, no. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, that'll work really well. Oh my God. This, the writing so far is fucking outrageous. They like turned the camp all the way up. Oh yeah, it's like, we're going silly. And I'm here for it. A small hole into the skull? You want to give me a lobotomy? <gasps> Catherine, let's not get our dander up. Uh, not the <laughs> dander, girl. This poor girl. And we don't want to rush you, but as this is an experimental procedure, if you do decide to move forward, we're going to need you to sign this consent form. All the waivers. Mm -hmm. oh, sign over your life. Um, just sign it, Sasquatch. <gasps> we shouldn't be surprised. We shouldn't be surprised that she would say that are basically our servants. Excuse me? Ew. Who oh. are you? I'm Ingrid Marie Hoffel. I love the little sound effect. I munch asked you here, but it must have been to kill you because you are utterly unqualified oh. to practice medicine in any shape or form. I wouldn't put it past Dean Munch for be like, these are just lives to be taken. Mm -hmm. You mess with me and I will eat you for lunch. Carry on. <gasps> oh, I believe it. In the meantime, I expect 10,000 words on bedside manner in clinical practice by Thursday. Hold on. How many pages is that? We still get our salaries, right? I mean, it depends on the font size, <laughs> it's double spaced. Medical school. I don't know where you got the idea that you were also getting a salary. <laughs> <laughs> They legit <laughs> thought that they were doctors. <laughs> we'll have our own doctor TV shows like Dr. Drew or Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz or the doctors. Just imagine the amazing. I forgot that the doctors was like a thing. Were they really like actual doctors? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you tell us. Good graces and get our medical degrees. How do we do that? By pulling an all nighter and figuring out a cure for that werewolf girl before Zayde does. Oh, okay. I like a little competition. Me on that girl. So what have you come up with? Well, I'm just trying to go over the facts. Fact oh. number one. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> no yolks, just whites and canned tuna. Three glasses of whole milk. Oh. That's not an unhealthy diet. I wonder if I can say that. Three glasses of whole milk. Does it sound <sighs> sexy? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Boost your testosterone. Oh. Oh, <gasps> mine of its own, mine of its own. Put you on a soy-based diet immediately. It'll spike your estrogen and bring your hormones into balance. Your boobs will probably get bigger too. Starting a regimen. Key <laughs> <laughs> into your system. Well, you'll lose hair naturally, the way a man would. Most men, really. <laughs> Read me to filth. Change of plans. I say we go with Chanel's idea first. <sighs> So, Dr. Hot, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where are they getting the lights? This production at this it's hospital. That's not important. I look like a cancer patient. No, you look like a large baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want a bejeweled stethoscope. I do, I do. Well, now we know what to wear for the finale episode. Yes. Oh my God. I love this. I love this so much. Makeover! Oh. Yes! This <laughs> Tinder profile picture. Side angle, dim light. We got rid of all your hair, but you're still a good 15 pounds from being even in New Jersey 6. Oh my God! There, there it is. There's our Chanel, always making us gag. Will not get past me. I got your number, you rich dumb whores. Good to know. Come on, Chanel. All right, all right. Chanel is getting her groove back. Second took their hearts to stop beating. Do you want to go on a date? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. No! I love it. I see it. I see them together. You can reinvent yourself into a better friend. Damn. Sometimes I think you're just not a very nice person. <gasps> That's actually really mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if someone said that to me, I'd be broken. They used to put insane people in these things. 
And no matter how much of a raving lunatic you are, after an hour, you're like super chill. But that water looks- This hospital reminds me of Halloween 2, the Halloween 2 hospital. Amazing. Now I'm just gonna close this lid. Okay, yeah. that is horrifying. That is horrifying. Once it closes, she's gonna be locked in too. Yeah, so they have no way Did out. Did you just lock yourself in? <laughs> <laughs> Stress and anxiety. <sighs> okay. I think I would hyperventilate if I'm being honest. I don't think I would be able to, no, maybe, maybe I'll be able to relax. <gasps> oh. oh it's the green weenie no, no. oh yeah you hate that uh, i hate that noise oh, oh my god <laughs> oh they're slippery and gooey oh my song Oh, they're cute. Needed you so. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. <sighs> All right, that's pretty terrifying. Uh huh. Kill her! Kill her! She <laughs> Girl, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. <gasps> Oh, damn, girl. Holy shit. There by Mr. Jackson here, who probably frightened the monster away. And now, Ms. Hobart's body is- Oh, no, not squeezing the head into a Ziploc bag. Or it was someone dressed up as a large plant. She got plant from that? Plants? It's a plant. Or maybe it is a plant. We don't really know what the green meanie is. I'm gonna have to get used to saying green meanie. Her own motives. <gasps> I'm just curious. Do you have to have graduated high school to become a detective? Obviously <laughs> <laughs> crazy. She probably murdered uh, Catherine herself for the attention because she hasn't been touched in months. I don't even think she's touched herself. Even Damn, the accusations are going fast. Uh-huh. So hurry back to listen to the least terrifying story anyone has ever heard. <laughs> All right, I don't think we're ever gonna really know what happened here. What? Oh. <laughs> Case closed. In the meantime, no more made up stories that aren't that scary. Uh. <laughs> Telling the truth, I swear. Oh, I've always had a soft spot for Chanel number five. Mm -hmm. Thinker who brilliantly solved our last case without resorting to a full frontal lobotomy. Well, if I was gonna be mean, I'd ask him if he kissed. Well, uh, you know what? Good point. The news is that there's a machine called a CO2 laser that can shrink and eventually remove your tumors. It's completely painful. Oh, they're all tumors? Yeah, the bad news is they're, they're, they're cumbersome and they're super expensive and we don't have one. I don't have any money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a thing, but we don't got it, so. Please, just help me. You know what I'm kind of loving is that each episode seems like they introduce like a new patient that they, they see. Chanel's an idiot, so she hates them, but like really hates them, hates them. All right, good. I think you got it there. I'm in. There's something. Kiki's on it. Kiki's on it. She is finally the proper final girl. How did he get over there? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to eat any of it. You see, I buy the biggest tub of popcorn they sell and have them cover it in butter, and then I secretly drop handfuls of it on the floor as the movie plays. Okay, I used to be, and I used to be the person who cleans up the theaters after the the movie ended, back in high school, and that was annoying. <laughs> oh. Okay, I kind of want to know about that guy behind him. Oh, sorry, oh. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I haven't been manhandled in like two. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, not the Twizzlers. Hey. So it's giving Evil Dead 2 also. 
When I joined Kappa and became a Chanel, but then Chanel told everybody that I had teeth in my vagina, so it's basically impossible for me to get a date. But I knew this would be different. Some people might like it. Three of hot doctor boyfriends that no one will even look at me. I look like I'm wrapped in infected bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> no! Since a girl even talked to me. Do you want to see what I used to look like before all this? You were hot! Oh, <gasps> like, hey! It's that guy! I don't know his name, but I believe, I think he's gay. I'm gonna find money for that laser. I don't know how, but I'm gonna find it. I believe in you, Abigail Breslin. She's after that D. <gasps> no, uh-uh. That is genuinely terrifying. That's the most terrifying thing I've heard in this show. Also, why are the lights off? Because hospitals have to have that ambience always. Oh no. Girl, this isn't good. <gasps> the Red Devil! Thank you, Daddy. Welcome back. <laughs> the what the Chad? fuck? What the hell? Wait, it's the Chad? It wasn't funny when you snuck into the insane asylum in the middle of the night and scared me in my bed, and it's not funny now. I thought it was pretty funny. Maybe That's oh what happened God. at the end of the show. Uh, was this real? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. It looked like a dream. Anything odd happened on the trip? Was he bit by a tick or hit in the head? Oh, he looks excellent. a lot harder. I think it's because he got rid of the, the hat that he always used to wear. Yeah. And forget that he has amazing hair. The doctors had game. Why don't you try okay, two examples? Okay, okay. You can fight over Chanel's breasts later. <laughs> Lowers is gonna take him out when all of a sudden Liz Cheney pops out. I think she was like peeing. Yeah. <laughs> Shoots her right in the face. Boom! Hope she was okay. No, I don't. She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like that. You know, any slight little stimuli sort of sets him off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you bitch. Please help me. I feel like I'm gonna die from screaming. I'm sorry, Randall, but there, there is no known cure. But that is. <laughs> Cue Dean Munch. My name is Shell number five, and I'm here to ask you for help. No, stop it right now. It's my friend Tyler. <laughs> stop it right now. It's a blazer that could end his. Okay, torment. I can't watch this anymore. Number five? That is the worst fundraising video ever made. What are you talking about? It started off really good. Various days. Then when he's hot again, he'll feel obligated to stay with you and never leave. It kind of makes sense. You kind of have to accept him for who he is. That feels super manipulative. <laughs> 86. The entire hospital staff was murdered on Halloween night. <laughs> A year, a year after. after. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh god. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, the budget was it this season. Leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> the monster does look like something out of a Goosebumps book. Yes. I do think so. Oh, no, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody. Hey. Hey. Jerry O'Connell, don't get killed. <gasps> oh! oh, that's not good. That's very a la Halloween, too. <laughs> Stop. I love this. <gasps> no, he's dead. Oh, no. This killer is literally, like, a lot stronger than the Red Devil. Uh-huh. He's literally, like, sniping at you. Ooh, but it glows in the dark. I like it. <gasps> Holy oh, shit. Oh shit, this is a Halloween massacre. <gasps> oh my God! Morning. Stop it! Why do they do this to us? Emergency sex pops up. This is an employee locker room. Oh my God. <gasps> is he Look, hairier now? Standing in here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That is the last climber to summit Mount Chanel. How am I supposed <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. That's all I could do. Wow. This, this season was for the gays. It's it's for Sergio and Cody. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up boxes. Isn't that what this is all about? Jesus Chanel's Christ. box. And his nipples are hard. Sorry, sorry. We'll behave. Oh we'll God. behave. Someone spray me with a spritz. <laughs> Stand for that, Chad. Oh, before this gets any more homoerotic, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I'm going to do something I hoped I wouldn't have to do. At least they're aware. At least they're aware. I'm in. Oh. I think our winners just touched accidentally. <laughs> they flopped. <laughs> flopped in a good way. Oh my god. Why would they do that to us? You know why. <laughs> Correction, it's for anybody who is attracted to the male body form. But spiritually, it's for the gays. Spiritually. <laughs> into guys who look like... The inside of a hemorrhoid infested butt. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was the actor from Never Have I Ever for a second. Looks like one of them. Oh! Oh! You cannot speak to him this way! He is a female! Just casually doing assault. I'm trying to save someone's life. Mine. The headache. What do you mean? Tell me. I just don't think I ever. Look, I, I didn't start this hospital because I give a brat's ass about the American healthcare system. <laughs> Jamie. Oh, no. Not Jamie Lee Curtis being chased by a killer in the hospital. Who would have thunk? Never happened before. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God. Also... Fuck yes, Jamie, immediately catching it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, bitch. You still got it, you still got it. Who are you? What's going on? Call the police. No, don't call the police, they're morons. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thing that I think is responsible for all those murders here 30 years ago. What? Oh no, wait, how? That makes no sense. Now on, when someone's just fought off the killer and they're about to reach down and pull off the mask and find out who it is, not the time. <laughs> yes, yes. That one's for you, mm -hmm. that one's for you. Cody gets mad about that too, where I it's do. like, when they have the chance, just find out who the killer is in that moment. And an extra stabby stab wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what are you talking about? It's so strange. Perhaps I, I, I whipped the drapes too fast. <laughs> <It's> so... <laughs> oh my god. What is your other hand doing? What is. Oh! <gasps> what is happening? What is okay. happening? I thought it was gonna be on his ass or something. <laughs> like. Well, well, well. <gasps> It's a damn good thing you got. I can't wait for her to explain why Zadie is the killer. A queen is, has entered. The queen has entered. My instincts told me the first time I laid eyes on that Zadie Williams. Yes. I was like, this bitch right here is a stone cold. Yes. <laughs> Love it. At Quantico. And by watching movies Quantico. about Quantico. Ooh, and from the hit TV show Quantico. <laughs> <laughs> You got to get inside the mind of a killer, huh? Or in Zayday's case, underneath the weave. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I think Chad, the actor, got even more buff. Yeah, I think so. He has now like 2% body fat. Mamma mia! <laughs> not a stoner. I'm done. Oh, I'm not. I'm just getting started. We need to know more about this donor. Mm-hmm. Oh! <gasps> In the mind of a killer! Yo! She's back! Memory is all I have now that I don't have a view. Glad to hear you're doing well. We just wanted to ask you a couple questions. And this is obviously a Silence of the Lambs reference. Oh, yeah. Yes. And does this killer wear a mask with horns? And does he or she leave a trail of green slime wherever he... 
What? That's too specific. I want to transfer to your hospital and I want a room with a view. You're insane. I'm not finished. I have a list of some super high end. Of course, this is how we bring her back into the cast. Oh, oh. what the hell? Surprise! Oh, <laughs> what? Saw somebody that society had decided was hideous and you chose to look past it and see the human being underneath. Thanks, I guess. Not you, him. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> So we've decided to reward you by purchasing the laser for your treatment. <laughs> what? How'd you get the money? Your debt disowned you. I asked Chad for it. I told him it was- Oh. Now Dick. No, I, I prefer Richard. What? No Richards go by Dick Wait, since Nixon. Wait, that's a- Uh-huh. What's his name from The Office? Oh my God, and I watch The Office all the time. All of the girls that I showed that picture of your penis to yeah. thought that it looked very nice, but- <laughs> <laughs> Beating his opponents on the court did not satisfy him. He. <gasps> oh, oh. Against one of the world's best, but all of them lost not only the game, they lost their lives. Over 600 or so. 600? Did you order me something? <laughs> Richard. We eat when we're hungry. Not when we want to. No, stop. <laughs> Dr. Brock Holt has the hand of one of the world's most notorious serial killers. Just like I said. Yep, you called it. You called it. Bother you that when you spank it, you're being totally gay? Excuse me? And you're yeah. celebrating Palm Sunday with another bro's hand, so. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Until he got murdered. Which brings to my next question. <laughs> <Is> he, <laughs> wait, 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 what? So now you know my secret. They better not kill Chad. If they kill Chad, I swear to God, I'm gonna riot. Is there a problem? What is it? I'm afraid you have Kuru. <laughs> what the hell's Kuru? It's a disease that cannibalists get after they eat people. <gasps> Deceased family members, anyone who consumed the contaminated brain tissue would contract the disease. Oh no. You're a cannibal. Swando's fantastic party was in fact a funeral. Oh God. You can tell no one. No one must know because if the board finds out, they'll think I'm unfit to run the hospital. Oh no. Uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. These all of Chanel's lies. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, is he going under the thing? Try and solve the case of the green meaning who attacked you. Did you find something? No, you're not gonna believe this. It's a game changer. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hurry up. That, that's, that's amazing. Did you plan this? You sneaky little girl. Wait, wait. No. No. I don't like the sneaky little girl. Look, I love you so much, and I promise I'm gonna keep loving you even when I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Brock and Cassidy weren't there. And who just wheeled Tyler in a search ring? Why are you strapping me down? Oh no! I'm gonna be under some sort of anesthesia. Chanel number five! You need to go to him! <gasps> Holy crap! <gasps> Please, I don't wanna die. Please. Please. Oh no! <gasps> Please. Please. No! No! You can't play this music unless we save him! Oh! No! Oh no. We have another serial killer on our hands. Yep. Is that where it ends? Oh! All right, guys. Well, that was our reaction to episodes one and two of Scream Queen season two. And I gotta say, I'm hooked. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm on board. I don't know. It could really just fall downhill for the rest of the season. But so far, the story, I'm enticed. Mm -hmm. I actually don't mind the look of... Okay, I hate the word. I hate the... the uh, the, the title, term. the term, the green meanie. I don't like it. But I don't like it. They're green and they're a meanie. Uh, why can't it just be like the green guzzler? 
no that's sorry 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 that's not okay we're not gonna use that but the the green monster or something like that something simple but green meanie i don't know but the look of the green meanie i think is okay. actually pretty terrifying mm -hmm. really really good i think it's a lot more of a of a presence and seems a lot more powerful than oh, yeah than the red devil so I mean, pick somebody up with one hand yeah and i still listen i still love the red devil but i i like that they stepped it up for this which is good mm -hmm. the budget seems like it's a lot more you know i feel like there's a lot more budget to this i i would agree with do you that. think mm -hmm. I mean, in the first season, you were like in many locations, which is fair. And also, they did have uh, Joe Jonas and Nick Jonas and Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. But in this one, we do have a lot of also really good celebrities. Yeah. Also, we have Chad coming back and Nisi Nash coming back, which is really, really good. So I kind of feel like the same vibe of of the first season is still here. It's still present. Yeah. Now, I will say the dialogue is a lot more sillier. And I mean, it's still also shocking. Some mm -hmm. of it is still like, whoa, I can't believe they just did that. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. So far, I'm loving this. They turned the camp way up. I cannot wait to see where this season goes. And honestly, I just want to like binge another couple episodes. <laughs> I know, it's actually a problem. We're, we're gonna have a problem. So I also like, I'm really loving that we're getting the little sprinkles of horror. We have the serial mm -hmm. killer hand. I do feel like we're just gonna keep getting like classic monsters because we have the creature that comes out from the radioactive lagoon or whatever. Yeah. We had a werewolf. We have someone who's just like ice cold and we have not had an explanation for that yet. Which it could either mean, yeah, you're a vampire or you're the undead. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a serial killer, like actually like the like a vibe that like something is taken over you, which is really, really cool. Like, again, it's like elevating the, it's not like just a slasher anymore. Yeah. Which I really like. I'm gonna say like, once we finish this season, I'm gonna go in depressed mode because we won't have anything after this. So we're really gonna cherish watching these episodes. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Chad Bradwell came in guns, mm -hmm. body, Adi, Adi, and ass a blazing into this episode. I was shocked. Like I yeah. literally was like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. It was like, ah, <laughs> ah. just <laughs> chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. He's much more chiseled and sculpted now. I don't know what movie he was doing in, at this time, but like he looks good, and yeah. so does John Stamos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was a lot. And whew, we're gonna have to cool down a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, if it's like this, we're gonna have a good time. Oh yeah, absolutely, completely down. But you guys know what to do. Comment below what your thoughts of this episode was. Do, are you still on board? Is anyone out there who like actually hated this season kind of liking it a little bit? It's okay, be honest. Um, but you're still, it's still good if you still do not like this season. We're we're not gonna really make up our minds until like the end, right? Yeah. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.